Hello, this is Carlos from the Church of Christ channel. Please subscribe. So I want to first thank all my new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Uh, pray that you get um, a lot of spiritual nourishment from my channel and all of that. And I pray that God helps you along the way uh, as we go through scripture and uncover God's truths, okay? So this is going to be a real conversation. This is part number one. And this is going to be a man's enemies are they of their own household, okay? A man's enemies are they of their own household. And this is going to be part one, okay? So let's look at Micah chapter seven, okay? And uh, we're going to read one, um, we're going to read one through six, okay? So the Bible talks about, woe is me, for I am as the last of the summer fruits, as the great gleaning of the vintage. There is no cluster to eat, nor first ripe fig which my soul desire. So now this is what the purpose of him writing all this is. The godly man is perished out of the earth. So Micah is looking around at Israel and basically is saying that there is no one godly that comes out the earth. And the upright among men is no more. So a lot of the moral integrity of Israel has faded. They all lie in wait for blood. They hunt every man his brother with the net. Their hands are upon that which is evil to do it diligently. The prince asketh and the judges is ready for reward. So not only are the regular people corrupted, but now the officials and uh, people that are in power are corrupted. And the great man, he uttereth the desire of his soul. Thus they weave it together. The best of them is a briar, and the most upright is worse than a thornhead. So uh, these right here are like very uh, sharp type of plants, okay? So it's, he's comparing um, the upright to something worse than a thorn. So they weren't really upright, they were evil, but that's how bad it was. The day of thy watchman, even thy visitation has come. Now shall be their perplexity. Trust ye not in a friend. So the moral integrity is so low that he's saying, don't even trust in a faint friend. And then he said, put you not confidence in a, a familiar friend. You know, and this reminds me kind of in Psalms where David talked about my own friend lifted up his heel against me. You know, that type of stuff. Keep the door of thy mouth uh, from her that lieth in thy bosom. For the son dishonoreth the father. And the daughter rises against her mother. Daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Now here it is. A man's enemies are the men of his own house. Okay, I'm going to stop right there. So this is part one. We'll look at part two that, that's in Matthew chapter 10, verses 36 at another time. But all of this shows how uh, corruption between uh, a nation can really cause a lot of breakdown. And even today we see where, you know, sometimes dealing with family is really a hard thing. If there's a lot of moral and general corruption, moral breakdown, then um, you can't even trust anybody. You can't even trust in a familiar friend. And there are periods like this in the Bible that talks about this uh, breakdown where not only the people are broken down, but it also talks about how uh, the judge is wanting a bribe, you know, because it talked about that here. Okay. Uh, great man, he uttered, um, the prince asked, I'm sorry, and the judges are ready for a reward. Okay. 
But then it goes on down here and, and it goes into the, the family structure. Uh, a, a man's enemies are the, me, are the men of his own house. And so even today, we do have a lot of family friction. Um, and we've even seen it in the Bible in Genesis, you know, um, definitely with uh, Isaac and Rebekah. Um, definitely one favorite, the other son over the other. And all of those things. Anytime there is moral decay, there is a family breakdown, okay? And it's hard even sometimes uh, because you're a cousin or a brother, sometimes you deal with bad family members. And we have them sometimes in our family. So um, I just wanted to say this because you know, a lot of people now are going through a lot of family friction. And so the Bible recorded this a long time ago. So a man's enemies can be the men of your own household. Now, we'll, uh, when I come back, we'll do part two, and, and that's going to consist of Matthew chapter 10, verses 36, where this is repeated from uh, Micah, and uh, what he saw. And this is Carlos from the Church of Christ channel, signing out.